Hello YouTube, this is Lounge Styles and you just entered my world, Loudon's World. Mine has Today on Lounge World, I'm talking about one specific person. You know, this thing has been going on for quite some time and I, I said that in my last Lounge World that I was going to keep this short and simple about Tubers 93 and Dark Angel Light, but this time I think I'm just going to get a little bit more in depth into it. Okay. Tubers, I know that you're in it for the drama. It's really effing obvious. You're in it for the drama. But here's something you need to realize. When the Armor Cat said that you were acting like a hypocrite, you pretty much do act like a hypocrite. You call everybody a fucking retard, or you say fucking hell, or all that other stuff. You always say that people take the internet too seriously. You always say that. When someone defends their friends or whatever you say you take it as they're taking the internet too seriously like in your case when you're talking about dc and how he treats everybody on the internet as real life people um tubers they are real life people on the internet i i hope you noticed that and you know yes dc treats every internet user as a real person because they are real people tubers and i don't know if you noticed this but he's met them before he's met all of his friends on YouTube he's met guys like Helsing and Toss and and Joshua darkness the curse he's met all those guys so I guess you can count them as real friends and another thing I don't know about you maybe you live alone maybe your parents didn't give a shit about you when you grew up or whatever but you know when you talk somebody when you say something about somebody's father yeah, everybody's not going to have a calm rebuttal response to it. Because that's somebody's family. And everybody has that love for their family. And if you talk shit about their family, then, you know, that's pretty much a bullshit thing to do. Harley, it's quite obvious that Tubers just likes to push your buttons because, one, he has nothing else better to do. And, two, he can't really come up with a valid statement with you to save his goddamn life. Dude, half of the stuff you say you either bring up personal shit from Skype or you t or you bring up some conversation that has little to no reason to what's even going on in the situation now, which comes up null and void, just like some of Harley's comments. But still, you come off as the supreme asshole because, again, you brought personal shit into this argument. Again! You brought up shit about her health in the first time. And now you bring up crap about her family. And you call her father a lazy, drunk piece of shit. Come on, dude. I know you ran it for the drama, but fucking think for once. Really, just think. Because when you talk about somebody's family, do you honestly think everybody's just going to have like a calm response to it? My question, My answer to that is no. And you talk about how everybody gets all emotional and stuff. Dude, you get emotional too when somebody calls you out of your bullshit. You get more butt hurt than the regular troll on YouTube. I've seen it happen. I hear it in your voice. Every time Dark Angel comes up and refutes you, you get pissed off. Every time DC does the same thing, you get pissed off. You start cussing up a storm and you start saying, Fucking I, you're fucking it. You're fucking retard. You do that in your video. But yet, you're so in denial of it. You are an HID, a hypocrite in denial. Look inside yourself, dude. You know it's true, but you don't want to admit it. So I guess I'm just going to have to say it. I mean, <laughs> I, again, I have to bring it up. The the dad thing. I mean, come on, man. If, you, if someone says shit about somebody's family, you really think somebody's just going to have like a calm response to it? Now, Harley, you should have just went away right there. You should have just left. Because he put you on the call, you should have just left yourself from the conversation. If you had that feeling that something crazy was about to happen, you should have just left. But you didn't, and it turned into this right here. And Tubers was pushing your buttons, and it worked. Tubers pushed your buttons, and it worked. Now, I'm not saying, you know, 
because I know you have a very deep connection with your father and everything, but, you know, you shouldn't have let tubers push you like that. And yes, tubers is a, is a quote-unquote, the biggest asshole on YouTube. I mean, he's up there with Samuel to geek when it comes to assholes. I'm, I'm just saying, tubers, you are. But, it's kind of one-sided, because it's like, you could have not said anything, but, you know, that's your family, and you love your family very much. And when somebody says shit about your family, that kind of, you know, throws you off. That's like the oldest of all, that's like the old school move to do. That's like going back to preschool, talking crap about somebody's mom or their father, and they know they have a deep connection with their mother or their father. So it's kind of funny, too, because you just have to resort to preschool tactics just to piss her off. And you know that's her buttons. That's pretty damn sad, if you ask me. Really freaking sad. Oh, and that thing about you bring up by DC, by him taking the internet way too seriously, and he you brought up Azap. Yeah, let's just put this hypothetically because we all know tubers. You're you're basically you actually basically act yourself like a heartless cold bastard, and you don't give a fuck about nobody but yourself. So let's just put it like this. Let's say you had a girlfriend. You met her on the internet. You met her in real life, and you know, y'all in love with each other. And then some guy comes up and makes a video bringing up personal shit about her and calling her some of the most messed up names in the world, insulting her, and just bringing up personal stuff that she didn't, that you thought they kept to themselves but didn't, and just tell it to the world. Now, you hear this. What are you going to do? I know what you're going to do. You're probably going to make a video and as calmly as you can talk about what's wrong with that video without, you know, blowing your top and like going fuck you into the camera. Just saying hypothetically tubers because we all know you're God Jesus and uh, nothing fucking gets to you whatsoever. And while we bring up this issue of taking the internet, I'm mm, sorry. And while we bring up this issue of taking the internet too seriously, let me talk to you first. You always say people take the internet too seriously. You said that before. But here's the thing. You're making a response back to said person. You make many responses after they make responses. And in the video, you call her a fucking retard. And you, you get, your voice changes up. Like, you get too emotional over it. So, doesn't that mean you're taking the internet too seriously when somebody is calling you out on some stuff? Yeah, it does. So, uh, Tubers, get your facts straight, man. Because you take the internet as much seriously as anyone else. Alright, now here's what could have happened. And I'm going to bring up this Skype chat because <laughs> Tubers brought it up. And, you know, Harley, you are right. I mean, Skype is just fo Skype is supposed to be personal. Skype is supposed to be personal conversations with your friends, not shared around the freaking world. Like Tubers did. So, I'm just going to say this. You could have just left. Sign out of Skype. Because you should have knew that Tubers was going to say something to push your buttons. This is tubers we're talking about. And you know he just has an utter disdain for you because you basically pwned him like very willy girly pwns Tarzan. Which we all know by now really didn't work. So they were talking, questions were answered, and the following was said by tubers, and I quote, Your father is a lazy, drunken piece of shit. Which, you know, drama or not, that's very uncalled for in, in any way, internet or in real life. Because, you know, the last troll that said something about somebody's family ended up getting dro ended up getting dropped from YouTube quicker than Jenna Jameson's last marriage. You know, tubers, you're in for the drama. I know that. You're the biggest drama whore on YouTube. And you want to spread the drama out there like I spread peanut butter and jelly on my sandwiches. But, you know, there's a limit to the crap you do. And most trolls and most people, they don't bring their freaking parents up into it. A couple, yeah, but not everybody brings up parents in an argument. 
And if they do, that's just basically a low cheap tactic, and they and it just further proves they have nothing else better to say, so they have to bring up somebody's parents because they basically got fucking pwned by logic, and they have nothing else better to say. Tubers, you pulled the preschool card by talking about her father because you were so pissed off and you just wanted to push her buttons. And you did. Congratulations. You brought up something personal yet again. And that's sad that the only way you can push her buttons is by calling her out on her calling personal crap about her and talking about her parents. Because we all know that in a logical in a logical complaint and criticism towards each other, you freaking lose every time because she comes up with something that calls you out on your bullshit and you can't really counterclaim it back. About everything she says about you is true. You don't want to admit it. Of course you don't want to admit it. But it's true about you. Freaking Stevie Wonder can see it a mile away from you. Sabi? <sighs> All right, guys, that was it. I I was gonna leave it alone. And then I saw the two videos. I saw Tuber's commentary on Armor Kid. Then I saw Dark Angels Part Two on her commentary. And I pretty much had to just make another video about this. This time it is actually pointly directed at Tuber. So, you know, for me saying that I was gonna do a video on Tuber's 93 or a commentary, this is my video on Tuber's 93. I'm Lounge Styles. I'm over. I'm out, and I am gone. Peace.